Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about Dockable Panel inside the Revit. A way to create this uh, Dockable Panel that can insert in inside, I didn't add that. Yeah, now it works. In here, and you can track for whatever you want. I misplace this. Yeah, and you can interact with that. Yeah, that's a good place to add. Like that. Hide, show, and a way to create a, a window or a view that is similar as you as your dockable so you can test more easily and yeah uh, here is my uh, my project I have this project and is in my github and you can take a look link in the description that's basically gonna show uh, a service that are great to make more simpler to register your dockable inside the Revit and yep let's go in the codes and have to take a look uh, here I created this service that I basically apply in the uh, Y control application but in the end basically gonna go in here and gonna register dockable panel and it requires a GUI or a ID specific ID for the panel and a title and uh, the interface e controller panel provider uh, if I click in here, I can click this one and gonna show that basically gonna require this interface and this interface gonna request basically the uh, framework element. That's the the page that's gonna show inside the panel and the dockable panel. Yeah, and that's basically it. If I go inside my register, uh, I can go in here as well. I can go in here as well, and basically the the T is the interface that's my page in the case and i'm checking if the the gui is registered and if not gonna do some stuff just to uh, change the title to make more easily and gonna show and gonna register that's gonna try to register that and if that was good uh, gonna add the the type in the this dictionary just to make easier to find uh the panel or the the page that we're searching for that's one way to do it uh i kind of find a better way but i'm gonna uh explain in the next video but you can find in the others uh repo especially the, the develop has some inter interaction but anyway uh one thing that you need to make sure uh revit only allow to register a uh, dockable panel before revit finishing starting yeah so one way to make sure is adding the register process in the application initialize it so yeah that's gonna make sure that you're gonna register your panel your dockable dockable page or panel uh before revit start that's the way i do so like this as ex example and if i go in the show basically i'm getting the service find it using the ID in this case and forcing to show that's the case and in the hide I'm getting the page actually and if I go in my page just to show I have the ID in my page it's a static and I have the interface basically like this I'm setting for this page and I'm forcing uh, when initialized to be tabbed but that's and this one has other uh, stuff as well, just is visible by default uh, and other stuff that I'm not gonna, not gonna show in this video, but you can have some fun. And this page basically gonna have a button that if I press the button, gonna change the content and add a, a plus one just to have this interaction in here. Yeah, plus one. And let's hide this and in my view i have this page viewer that's basically i'm at the page basically the page like the content and i'm gonna have the content of my page and here a simple in, in implementation yeah that's what i'm doing in this case and works great so i could create a new one let's create just to have some fun so let's go let me think Let's go here. Actually, let's 
try something more. Mm, let's just create a new one. Just have some fun. Quick two. And yep. And let's go in my, mm, let's think. Let's go here. Uh, no, actually here. And let's add action. That's going to be a little problem. I could do that. It's not going to be an issue in this case. But yeah, I can. Or I could create a new one. Let's create a new one. Then I forget this repo. But yeah, let's create a new one. Let's go new. New. New item. Uh, let's search in here for page. Should be having this one. Uh, my page could be this. That's good. Let's go. Uh, let's could be this. Let's just for fun. Back. Background. Mm, blue. Yeah, let's set the background blue. That's good enough. And I could go in here and just to make sure this is my page. Yep. I go in my rabbits because I'm using uh, app loader. I'm gonna update that. And this is my page. You can have some fun it tests. But to show and hide uh, when Revit is open, I'm got not gonna be able to do that. Because you can only register uh dockable panel panel panel, yeah, uh before Revit starts. So I try this my page. Yes, uh, great two. Actually, I need to. I forgot to add this one. I need this in my page. Yes. Uh, and need to add my interface as well. And basically, I need this to be uh, that framework. Yes, equal to this. That's basically it. Uh, now, uh, in my page, everything's fine. It's a good too. Yes. And in here, let Thanks, actually, let's force to open both. Uh, this one is going to show this one. It's going to hide the other one. Right. Yeah. That's one way to do it. And yeah, if I go back in here, I can show this one visibly. Uh, hiding show not gonna work anymore, but let's mm, close my rabbit and let's open again. And now, uh, because I'm using app loader, gonna trigger this when rabbit is start or finish to start, and I'm gonna try to register both uh, pages. And let's see if it works or not. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, you can only access the these actually these dockable p pen when you have a document open. So yeah, if you if I try when before it doesn't have any document open, this is gonna be new. That's why I have this try in here. But yeah, that's a thing that you need to know. Yeah. And so if I create a new model and open a document. Now I can have access to that panel, uh, dockable. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go this open by the default. Great. This is my other one. And let's try to show this one. Where is it? Why is not showing? Hide show. Why I'm not seeing the other one maybe i had with the same id that was a dumb stuff to do yes i did with the same id so let's make it a little better that's gonna be true i guess that was a mistake not a big deal it's gonna be this. Let's go in my show. This is gonna be two. And it's gonna be two as well. Yes. 
now should work. It was a mistake, no problem. Let's open again and see if he, my dockable is uh, registered in, in this place. So let's see and should work. Yeah. But usually when I'm developing, I'm uh, using the view way It's easier. So I don't need to open and close my Revit to see if it works uh, all the time. So yeah, mm, let's open this and see if it works this and yeah this is my page my page here and yeah that's my page good and yeah uh, if I hide this gonna hide both if I show this gonna show both yeah and of course if I change this and to red let's change this to red just to have some fun and it's not going to be date of course but yeah this one is red so i can developing using this approach that's going to work fine and then i can try to see if this dated version gonna work or not yeah that's one way that way I do. So in the next video, I'm going to show a different approach to register your, your talkable pen. That's similar like this. I have a, a service that's using a different approach. I'm actually using uh, this one, E framework element creator. That's going to be fun and better than this one but that's just an introduction so yeah uh don't forget to like this video subscribe and if you want to take a look in that you can go in here let's discard everything i don't care uh yes okay that i need to delete anyway uh yeah, I have this creator and basically I can have the framework directly in here is the developer. But yeah, uh, I have something like this instead. Mm, that's not a good example, but yeah, I can create a new page in here and have an instance of this one. So this is so I can inject something in the constructor. That's going to be fun to add some dependent injection or something like that anyway so thanks for watching uh, this you can find the link in the description uh bye